Hello Internet, I'm Elodie, I'm the almost queen of Nova, I wear a cat suit with a monocle and I think that gives me a boost to, oops, wrong place, yep, boost to intrigue. Sounds good because I need to level up my intrigue skills. I don't trust any of these nobles, I think they're all plotting to kill me. So I need all of the intrigue. Alright, uh, I think, I think, look at that intrigue bonus. I think we're just gonna we're just gonna trade intrigue. We are gonna max this out. Intrigue, foreign affairs, intrigue, internal intelligence. Go. Countess Leeked of Dies was married to the old Duke of Sudbury, who was more than twice her age. Then divorced him as soon as she'd borne him an heir in order to carry another. So wait a minute, she divorced him as soon as she'd bought born an heir, okay? It was considered shockingly rude by the general nobility, but the old duke apparently had no objection. The Countess of Dies is now married to the disinherited third sibling of both the Duke of Marie and the Duchess of Hellas. Currently both duke and duchess are unwed. If either dies without an heir, the title may still pass to the Countess's husband. Ah, uh, this is like a soap opera. This is like an afternoon soap opera. Since their recent revolution, the Tambulans have twice begun gathering troops on the Novarian border. Both times, their camps were struck by fierce storms and earthquakes and they decided to give up on the idea. I'm guessing my mom used her magic against them. Pirates are meaty! Pirates are once again operating out of Orcus, although they are currently sticking to the northern seas and are no threat to Nova. However, if they turn to slave raids, the Borleans... The Borealans... The Borealans? may be quite vulnerable. There is a woman here to see you. She's a musician and wishes crown patronage. Which means money. Your Royal Highness, see if you accept me as a member of your court, I will immortalize you in word and song. I've dabbled in musical styles from many countries and can entertain your guests and lighten your evenings. Ha! Huh. Musicians are often used as secret agents and messengers. They can be useful. And dangerous. The musician sings a little ditty to demonstrate her skills with the lute. Wow, she's actually pretty good. I think she's an agent for another power. We're getting rid of her. Thank you, we're not interested. Alright, so what should we do? Mood wise, yeah, I need to start thinking about reducing my willfulness, but not yet. Um. Hmm. I'm. Ooh, loneliness and. Ch yeah, we're just gonna go to the gardens. Become a little bit more lonely and a bit more cheerful. I need friends. I, I should definitely try to befriend Bar Brian here this time. Yeah, more intrigue, but we also need Lumen Powers unlocked. Go bonus some military stuff. Oh, so many things I want to learn. Yeah, we're going to max intrigue, I think. Uh, maybe not all of intrigue, but internal affairs and foreign affairs. Several generations back, the rulers of Elath and Sedna in neighbouring Tallahassee married. The citizens of Elath objected to this foreign influence and the resulting heir died in suspicious circumstances. After which the title was passed to a distant branch of the family rather than another child of the Elath-Sedna union. There were dark rumours about a second husband of the Duchess of Lilith, Lila, possibly because he was assaulted, uh, possibly because he was a commoner. It was whispered he was one who had once assaulted the young Duchess of Elath before her untimely marriage and demise. After years of marriage and three children, the Duchess of Lila divorced her second husband and refused to say why. Shortly afterwards, he was found dead. The Duchess of Lila and her son, the Earl of Eo, has been estranged ever since. The Earl now lives with his sister, the Duchess of Mead. Oh man, these relationships. Agents who have visited the Borealis region report that all known Lumen shamans seem to have no magical powers at all and perform their ritual displays with show and trickery. But I have the power of Greyskull. Rumour has it that the mother and older sister of the last Duchess of Elas were assassinated 20 years ago by agents from Sedna, which is why she as sole remaining heir was married off so young. 
Rumour has it that the Prince of Terax was humiliated by the public dissolution of his betrothal to an heiress after she declared him a coward. Interesting. You receive a letter from young, long, young Lord Adair. It's an extremely formal letter for a little boy. Thank you for your wisdom in allowing him to live with his grandfather, who probably dictated every word he wrote. You also receive an update from your agents. It would seem the Duchess of Lila is not pleased with your actions and is putting feelers out feelers against the other nobles for support. If she means to rebel against you, that's treason. Unfortunately, she's a long way away in her own power base. Calling to order may not be easy, but the longer you wait, the more dangerous she'll become. Hmm, I don't yeah, so we obviously don't send soldiers to arrest her. We could just try to have her assassinated. Hmm how much of a chess master am I? Let's wait for more information. It's only rumour. If you overreact you might wind up making the opposition stronger. Your agents will update you as the situation progresses. Right. Okay. I think it's time to de will myself a little. Um Yeah, so I'm gonna attend court. So I now look quite angry because I'm angry. Okay, bonus to weapons and military stuff. Alrighty. Um, I don't know if I actually wanted a bonus to weapons and military, to be honest. So weapons might be useful. I needed a. I really needed lumen bonuses. Yeah, I shouldn't have de wilified myself. Alright, what can we learn? We've got quite a good bonus on rural demeanour. But military stuff might be useful. Uh, weapons. Yeah, so many things might be useful. I think composure. Um, let's just go composure and elegance. Let's see if we can max those out a little bit. Yeah. Let's just get some more yeah, more points in royal demeanour. Seems like a good plan. You practice standing up, sitting down, down and picking up items from the floor. You practice speaking and laughing quietly, not trying to disappear or go unheard, but focusing your energy into a small space so it draws people closer. You're strapped into tight armour and made to walk around. Your teacher smears your body and clothes in strawberry jam. I like strawberry jam. Staring up into the sky, you notice a strange flash of light. Oh, a falling star! How pretty! Okay, it's obviously an omen of something. Uh, okay, mood wise. Yeah, I need to de anger myself and we can maybe become more willful. Hmm, dungeons, I think. Because I want to I want to um, train Lumen powers a bit more. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, I thought, yeah, Dungeon doesn't de-anger in me, it, it increases my anger. Hmm. Okay, what skills do we want to learn? More Royal Presence? I mean, I could put something into military. Yeah, something in the military is probably a good... Ooh, ooh, look at that Intrigue bonus there. I don't need it. Uh, something into Intrigue is probably a good idea. No, not intrigue, what do I mean? Just military stuff. Yeah, so composure and military strategy, I think, is what we should be looking at. Training. You practice walking over smouldering coals with bare feet. As long as you keep moving steadily and do not panic or freeze or run, you are not burned. Your teacher gathers up some of the castle staff to shout insults at you while you practice staying calm and not bursting into laughter. <laughs> you study the effects of battle stress on troops and how morale can turn the tide of combat. I have unpleasant news to report, my daughter. Adair, the young Earl of Ilas, has been assassinated. What? He was shot with a crossbow while playing on the grounds of his grandfather's estate. How did that happen? Where are the guards? It's not the first time such events have happened in the realm of Ishtar. Ah, the Earl of Ishtar's first wife and oldest daughter also died under mysterious circumstances. Officially an accident, but there were rumours it was agents from Tallahassee. Then his other daughter married young and died giving birth to Adair. Was the Adair dead? The only family he has left is his second wife and their son Connor, who's 15. 
Hmm. Well, we don't really know that anyone's to blame. Hmm. Yeah, blame no one. <coughs> Excuse me. No matter what we do, things just keep going wrong. And then there is a matter of the Duchy of Elath, by blood the nearest living relative is Talaris, the Duke of Sedna, in Tallahassee. Hmm, a long time ago there were marriages between leaders of Elath and Sedna. That's his ancestry. But the people of Elath don't want a Duke of foreign blood, so we revolt. So the title Duke of Elath was passed to a distant relative instead of Talaris' ancestor. Elath is a major duchy, you cannot afford to lose it. Don't we name a Novanair? As queen, I have the right to pass the lands of an extinct bloodline to a new ruler. Like my mum did with Uncle Laurent and Merva. Talaris is only distantly really related and he's a foreigner and we don't like foreigners and he tried to marry me and I'm only 14. Well, who should inherit the Duchy of Eolath then? Ha, huh. there are a few noble families with a lot of children, too many to inherit all the existing titles. Aris, the Duchy of Lilla, has six children, the oldest three have lands already. That's Kevin, the Earl of Yeo, Corisan, the Duchess of Mead, and Carmian, the Duchess Consort of Hegel. At least three others are all a few years older than me. The Duke and Duchess of Kegel have seven children, three around my age and four younger. And they're all Arisi's grandchildren to their mother, so either way, it will be her line. A random commoner. Um... I think we go with a child of the Duchy Duke of Kegel. The Duke of Kegel has so many children. Let him pick one for Elath. Very well. The other one, the Duchess Lilo, is the one who's uh, trying to move against me. I don't want to give her a bigger power base. All right, mood-wise, I need to de-anger myself. Go to church would do that job. You attend the services in the castle grove, letting the peace of the ritual calm your heart. Oh, no I'm willful, okay. Alrighty, so I want to activate my Lumen, oh my god, look at that intrigue bonus. Oh, and bonuses. Uh, okay, we've got bonuses to intrigue, Lumen, and military stuff. I think I just wanted to max out my Lumen skills. So resist magic, wield magic, done. You increase your awareness of your own thoughts and emotions, making it more difficult for mind-affecting magic to twist your actions. You learn how to cast rays of white light which can banish shadows and blind your opponents. You learn to create tiny discs of solid light which can fly through the air and cut into targets. These sound useful skills. I have more unpleasant news, my daughter. Soldiers from Tallahassee have crossed the border into Elas and are pushing towards the Ducal seat. The Duke of Sedna insists he is a rightful heir and the territory belongs to him. Your newly appointed duke requests additional military support and supplies. Ha. Huh. Fine. Whatever. I also have some letters. Wow, another letter from Bryony. Why does she keep writing with her to me? We're not friends. But she says she's bored and lonely and she's looking forward to seeing me at Gwenelle's birthday party. Oh, wow, that's great. Gwenelle is about to turn 15 and she'll be the Duchess of Sudbury for real. The other letter must be my invitation to her birthday celebration. We were friends at school and this is a big event, but it's a long way to travel. A lot of things could happen on the road. Uh, I think we're going, we're going to the party. We're going to the party. Alrighty, finish studying. I like my mood as it is. I could just visit the treasury and look at my money. Hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll have a walk in the gardens. All right. Okay. Let's keep let's keep buffing these lumen skills. Yep. Same again. Same again. Let's buff these lumen skills. Let's get the become the best lumen around. You learn to consciously project a magical field through your thoughts, blocking outside magic from touching your mind, but only when you have the energy to consciously resist. 
you gain innate resistance to light and dark and now you can see the blackest caves or stare into the sun without going blind. You've unlocked a new outfit. By concentrating you can create a wave of discontent which panics and enrages the animals in the area. You learn to create a blade of solid light which can wield like a, you can wield like a sword to slice through flesh and stone alike. Oh no, on the journey to Sudbury your carriage is attacked by bandits but I will fight them off with my magical powers. You look down in shock at the arrow which has buried itself in your side. Outside you hear screams and curses but it feels unreal. Your world is centred around pain. You struggle with the arrow, afraid to pull it loose. You heard a story about somewhere about pushing arrows through the body so you brace yourself and give it a shove. Elodie, you an idiot. What are you doing? Unfortunately, this dive drives the arrow deeper into your vital organs, turning a painful wound into a fatal one. Okay. So I died from stupidity. Oh, uh, well. Hey, I guess we'll start from the beginning again. See you soon.